Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl Dylan Alexis, and I am back with another Nursing Schools Diary. So we're on episode six. So y'all can see I'm starting the video in the car. Um, I just made it to school. It's 8:03, and I still have to walk to class. Class started at eight, so like, oh well. But yeah, just made it here. Um, y'all know today is Monday, so that means it's lecture day. We got concepts, and then I have my repro class, which I know I have a four-hour break in between my class. And then today we have an ATI exam at 3.30 or 3.15 or something like that. So, long day. We're going to be here for a while. But, yeah, I'm going to get ready and walk to class. So, I'll see y'all in there. So, the patient has too much cortisol. That's a whole lot of the glucose corticoids. Glucose this is what they look like. Have we kind of heard of these little things, the trunk obesity? These, these are what I, what I like to term. It's no big deal about it. It is what it is. It is a textbook. And this is the same old um, mnemonic guy that I had when I was in school. Right? The same old sort of guy. And, um, and to see what chuckle about it because she was, she's old too, so we can do it. But uh, his name was Cushy Carl. Uh, yeah, and then we were thinking, like, is that appropriate? He didn't just call people Cushy Carl. But it's because he has cushions. But I remember Cushy Carl because he looked like this, right? <laughs> oh, she got me nine to three. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. That little extra album gonna bless me. Hey y'all, so we're done with class. Y'all, why was that our last in-person class session? Like, and she just strung it onto us at the end of class. Like, okay, the next one's gonna be online. Everybody like, what? But that's good news, cause I mean, we starting to wind down. So, yeah, y'all already know the drill. I'm gonna sit in here. Um, I don't know, you really can't study for no the ATI stuff. I, I probably run through the little practice assessment one more time, but it's really just like it is what it is. But, yeah, I'm eating my breakfast. I made me some turkey bacon and eggs. That's probably the reason why I was late this morning because I ain't bring nothing for lunch. I'm like, I gotta have something. Hey y'all, so it's a lot later from the last time I talked to y'all, but clearly I'm back at home. Um, I did my ATI practice exam. Well, first, of course, y'all know I had my second class at 1 o'clock, and then we took our ATI exam, and then after I left there, I went to the gym. I didn't really work out for long because it was so much traffic and it was raining. And so by the time I got there, it was like 5 o'clock. And that's when it's like jam-packed. Like every machine is taken at that point. So I didn't really do too much today. I just wanted to at least get a little workout in, build up a little sweat. And then I picked up me and my mama some seafood and back home. Took a shower and stuff. So um, after I eat... I have to do this, do my paperwork for my NICU clinical, but my NICU clinical isn't until Wednesday, and we have to turn the paper in the night before, but y'all know tomorrow I have clinical, and then we have this, this 
it's really not even meant for us. It's really a continu con continuum of education for like RNs who need it. Like some places, like some states, you need um, a continuum of education. So that's really what it's for. But they make us go, force us to go from 5 to 8 o'clock. So I know when I leave there, I'm not going to want to do nothing but just get in the bed and get ready for clinical the next day. So... Yeah, basically, it's it's called a DVP. Don't ask me what it stands for. Um, DVP, they have somebody who come in and they do this whole presentation and they just talk. And it's literally all it is. And they make us go. Not happy about that. But I'm going to just buckle up and go. Last, when we had one last semester, I brought my iPad and I was studying the whole time. Like, I know they probably sound like so unprofessional. But, like, they got to be FFR at some point. Like anyways um yeah that's the game plan for tomorrow so i need to go ahead and do that paperwork tonight and that way when tomorrow come i won't have so much to do i won't feel so like overwhelmed or flustered because having to be at clinical from six to like two or whatever and then turn around and go to this thing from five to eight like it's a no for me well, yeah, I'm finna eat y'all, and I will talk to y'all in the morning. Hey, y'all, it is the next day. It's 4.51 in the morning, and I'm actually doing great on time. I got up a little bit earlier, because y'all just paranoid about missing clinical. I haven't missed this clinical, but the clinical that I did miss is on Thursday, so, like, I'm so anxious about missing the clinical, so... Um, I got a pretty good amount of sleep last night. I went to sleep at like 9 o'clock. So, yeah, I don't feel tired or anything. Probably going to crash at like 12 o'clock. I'm going to be tired, but as of now, I'm fine. So, yeah. I normally leave the house at like 5.20, so I still have a good bit of time to kill. And... Yeah, I already told y'all that today I have the little DMP thing at 5 o'clock. So, I will talk to y'all when I get back home. Oh, and I just pulled my hair group today. I put this little scrunchie on, but it's like teal. But I don't know. I feel like you can't really tell the difference in the scrubs. I don't know. I got a dark green one. I'm going to have to try to find it. But anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. Hey y'all, so your girl is back home from clinical. Actually been back home from clinical for a while. I got home at like one o'clock. It is 3.07 right now. So clinical was actually pretty good, y'all. <laughs> Finally had a patient that can that stayed on the floor. I was able to give meds. And this patient, she had a, a peg tube, so I got to do uh, do her feeding through the peg tube and give her meds through the peg tube, so that was pretty cool. Um, Yeah, so that was clinical today, and then y'all know the DVP thing is at 5 o'clock. <sighs> I'm literally going in my scrubs. Like, we supposed to wear business, casual, but like... No, I'm wearing my I'm wearing these scrubs. As much as I hate wearing these scrubs, I'm not about to put on no business casual clothes for this. Like, yeah, no, it's not gonna happen. So, that's pretty much the update for now. And then I had planned on coming home and doing some work because my next exam is on Monday, of course. Today is Tuesday, so I was going to start studying for that exam, but our Wi-Fi is down right now, so hopefully by the time I come back from this little DVP thing, it's back up and running, but probably, more than likely, I'm going to probably just go straight to bed, because y'all been up since 4.30, 
and your girl is tired my head is itchy i need to oil my scalp like it's just all bad right now so after this dvp thing more than like i'm probably gonna come home and go to sleep and get ready for clinical tomorrow so um I don't know if I told y'all, but tomorrow is NICU clinical, so I'm very excited. And I don't think I told y'all, y'all got an interview for the NICU, so I can't wait for that. Um, my NICU interview is next week, so that'll be in next week's vlog. But I'm just happy that this week i get to go to the nicu and actually see what it's like to work in there as a nurse before i go through the interview so yeah that's pretty much the update for now and i'll talk to y'all later hey y'all so It is the next day, y'all. Oh my gosh, I feel like a Nicki Mole Red. Y'all, no nose ring, no earrings, no necklace, no rings. Y'all wear my rings every single day. Like, I don't even, I mean, I have a bracelet that I wear every single day. It's my grandma bracelet that passed away. Don't even have that on. This should be a crime. Like, I feel like a little boy. Like, I'm so glad we only here for a few hours. I, I really want to go to the NICU, but like this, I ain't feeling this. This no jewelry thing. Like, no. I feel so naked, especially the no earrings. Like, look at my ears. Um, anywho, it's 6 o'clock. I'm about to swoop my edges right quick, and then I'm about to run out the door. her in a low pony headband on and i think today since we get done so early i'm gonna go to the memphis chess club and study so i'm gonna pack my study stuff right quick and then we um head out so i'll talk to y'all later hey y'all so i'm done with clinical Probably been doing with clinical like for an hour now. Um, I, of course, y'all know I had to tell my mama about it. And then I just had to run to Walgreens because I left all my my whole little pencil pouch. I left it at home. And so I just had to buy even more pens and some more highlighters because I wasn't going all the way back home. And right now I'm outside the Memphis Chess Club. Y'all can see I changed clothes too. It's just so I'm comfortable to wear but I'm outside that Memphis chess club so I'm about to get ready and go in there so I can do some studying so let's go Tell them quit that cap. Mm. Niggas ain't get no money. Tell them quit that cap. Yeah. He need be relaxing. He need to do your taxes. Yeah. We went triple platinum. I wanna hear no nagging. Made it happen. Young and I died. Bottom buddy made it happen. Yeah. I wanna make no friends. Put me to my head. Who we think he is in that brand new. Hey y'all, so I'm back from studying. Um, I got my workout clothes on, as y'all can see. I'm gonna go to the gym and just get a quick little workout in. Mm. Y'all see my two little bunny buns? But let me tell y'all about my Mickey experience because I didn't get to tell y'all. So I don't know if I've ever said like what type of nurse I want to be, but I actually want to be a Mickey nurse. So this was like right up my alley today unfortunately we were only there for well y'all should know i want to be a mickey nurse because i told you i got an interview there so duh but anyways um we were only there for like two two or maybe three hours but y'all it was just it was so mesmerizing like i was just in all like all the little babies like the hospital that we went to is it has it's it is a 68 unit 
bed so it can hold 68 babies and like they had their names all cute on the little incubators and like I got to do the assessment and I used like the really small stethoscope and I got to like change the sites because you know you have to move the sites like their O2 probe and the temperature probe and stuff you have to move those to different sites every day so I got to do that and then um hold on y'all hey y'all so I'm back from the gym I think earlier when I was talking to y'all he ended up getting a call and then I just left and went to the gym after I got off the phone. But, yeah, so I was telling y'all about my NICU experience today. So, it was definitely a 10 out of 10. It gave me the motivation to finish this semester off strong. And also, this girl that I went to U of M with, she just graduated from U of M from the nursing program in December. And she worked at the hospital that I went to today as a nurse extern. And now she works on that floor as works in the NICU as a nurse today. So she was there today and you know we was just talking and she was encouraging me. So Chrissy, if you watch this video, thank you girl. Love you down bad. I already told my I'm gonna be asking you questions like Especially because it's getting closer to NCLEX. Like, I still got a whole nother semester. But it's it's coming faster than I expected. So, she was just talking to me about NCLEX and her experience. And we was also talking about my video I had made. So, she definitely gave me hope that there's light at the end of this tunnel. And then she told me that she she also struggled in, one, in the class that I'm struggling in, which is Repro. And she works in the NICU. So, like... I was telling her that I just was surprised that NICU, not NICU, but like maternal, like repro, maternal, whatever, is a trouble class for me. And she was like, it was the same for her. And as y'all can see, now she works in the NICU. And she was basically just saying like everything she learned at school, she had to let that go out of her head and just relearn everything because, of course, you learn what you post and what you need to know once you actually get on the floor. So, what the fuck? You learn what you're supposed to learn once you get on the floor. She was saying, like, they have classes for the new grads. She was like, they are long classes, but they helpful. And they teach you everything you need to know about their specialty. And then she was also saying... Um, you can tell a difference in the people who worked on her floor as a, as, who worked in the NICU as a extern and those who just came straight into it, like with no experience. So, um, yeah, that, like I said, definitely gave me the hope and push I needed to keep going and to finish this semester off strong. Cause we literally have only four weeks left, I believe. So yeah um tomorrow i have my peas clinical uh -uh, but nothing, yeah uh -uh. um tomorrow i have my peas clinical so i have to be there at 6 30 and y'all know i missed peas clinical last week so i have to definitely make sure i'm there today i think i'm gonna go stay tonight in my boyfriend's house because he stay pretty close to the hospital so that way I don't have to wake up as early because yesterday I woke up at 4 30 today I woke up at 5 30 like your girl is tired so I'm about to clean my room up right well I'm gonna straighten my room up I ain't even gonna say clean but I'm gonna straighten my room up and then finish my notes that I was working on earlier and that's going to be the night. So, I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Hey, y'all. I know I said I was going to talk to y'all tomorrow. I just had to show y'all how many bags I have to take with me. Not to mention my gym bag is in the trunk. Like, don't get me wrong. I love that my boyfriend, he stay close. Like, last semester, I was staying the night over there often. But it's just so much stuff I have to bring. Like, I got to make sure I got all my clinical stuff. Gotta have a spin of night bag and make sure I got my scrubs and stuff. Then I got my backpack just in case I decide to go study after clinical. So that way I won't have to come all the way back home. And then my gym bag. So also I won't have to come back home if I go to the gym tomorrow. So it's just, it's a lot. And then I have to, I got her some food. Like, 
yeah, your girl got a lot going on. But I'm determined to make it to clinical in the morning. So I see y'all at six in the morning. Hey y'all, so how long from clinical? Um I was supposed to talk to y'all this morning, but I didn't. But yeah, I'm home from clinical. Um honestly wasn't a fan of Pete's clinical like the hospital is super nice, but the clinical itself didn't really care for it. Um, I have no desire to work in peds besides the neonatal portion, which my patient, she was a five month old. But yeah, just, I don't know. I just, I didn't really care for it. I didn't really, I didn't get to do anything. My nurse, she wasn't very receptive to having a student, so she didn't really show me anything or let me do anything so that was that um and i was gonna go back to the coffee shop from yesterday to study but y'all my arms are hurting so bad from the gym like it even hurt just to like flex my arms back and forth or just even having them hang down it hurts so took some ibuprofen and some tylenol and Probably going once I turn in this care plan assignment and I have something else I have to do like with a group project. I finna take a nap and tomorrow is um tomorrow is Good Friday, so we don't have school tomorrow. So I may make tomorrow like a study day. I don't know. I may go back to the coffee shop tomorrow. It just depends on how I feel. But yeah, so I'm gonna talk to y'all later. I'm definitely low on energy. Um, going to three different hospitals is exhausting. Like I know once we actually get out in the field, of course, we're gonna work three days but going it's not necessarily it being three days it's the three days in three different hospitals in three different times like on tuesday we have to be here there at six for my labor and delivery clinic we have to be there at six forty-five, and then today we have to be there at 6 30 and it's like all in different places trying to it's just a lot like being put with a different nurse and trying to get oriented with that nurse and then like today you get a, a nurse that don't really want a student like it's just it's a lot but yesterday was great i don't yeah i told y'all about yesterday but yeah like i said i'm just gonna do that do these two little assignments and your girlfriend is taking out i am exhausted like y'all can see like i even look tired like <laughs> But, yeah, so, I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> Flashbacks while you pouring the yacht. Since a young nigga, he just wanted to shine. Used to daydream about thumbing through rice. He tuck it, get cold in the right. Tears fall while he loading the strap. Seen it all, he just wanna relax. So, uh, I'm richer than I ever been. Put my heart before the bag, worst shit I ever did. Gave you a second chance and you laugh again. Remember days I used to wonder where we ever went. Young and chasing dreams, reaching for the stars. See how you can be, either you gon' starve. Young and all that bottom body beat the odds. Yeah. 
Hey y'all, so I didn't talk to y'all this morning before I left the house because I was on the phone arguing with a motherfucking, ooh, arguing with a representative, so y'all didn't have time to talk to y'all, but um, me and Alyssa, we came back up here to the Memphis Chess Club to uh, study for our exam. Um, I didn't, we didn't stay for long today because um, Alyssa, she got an appointment to go to. And then your girl is hungry and they do sell food in there. But I have Chipotle at home from yesterday. So I'm going to go eat that. And then I'll probably just finish my studying at the house. But it was nice to get out the house just for a little second. So, yeah. So I just had to fill y'all in on that right quick. But anyways, I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Hey, y'all. So it's the next day. <clears throat> um, Yesterday when I left from... Um, studying. I didn't study no more yesterday. I came home and I kind of just took the rest of the day to just chill and give myself a little mental break. So it's Saturday and I'm studying again. And y'all, yes, I have this sweater on. This is probably my favorite thing I ever bought from Shein. Like I wear it 24 7, literally. So, um, yeah, but I'm outside studying and this is probably gonna be the end of this vlog. And then we have the exam on Monday, so yeah, I just I'm gonna probably get a little study content for y'all, but yeah. <clears throat> and I came out here to study because just to kind of switch it up. I know the lighting is not that good this way, but yeah, just to kind of switch it up. Um, cause like I'm outside, but I'm not outside because it's closed in, but. So, yeah, I'm just going to finish studying, and, yeah, like I said, this will probably be the end of this vlog, so. Oh, y'all, this, like, it's not good. But, yeah, I'm still studying, and I'm re-listening to one of the lectures, and, like, it's just such a good feeling when you hear yourself, like, answering the questions. Like, I think my teacher, she was, like, something about why would you monitor, um, electrolytes and, like, somebody with, um, elimination issues and then i was like because they electrolyte about like girl oh, you know what you're talking about hold on i'm let y'all hear hold on answering that question class yes that's how you do it like this it's just i don't know why they just made me so happy but it's like your girl know what she be talking about and it's like sometimes i be doubting myself like do i know what i'm talking about but then it's like when you answer the question in class and you're right it lets you know you know what you're talking about. Like, do that if that makes sense. Y'all get what I'm trying to say, but like, yeah, I just had to say that right quick because they definitely just made me feel good. Cause I'm not a person that really participate in class, like raising my hand and asking a bunch of questions and stuff. So when I do answer a question, just know I mean business and I know what I'm talking about. So something that I like to do to reinforce my studying. Um, I've talked about this before, but um, simple nursing. I really love simple nursing. Um, I just I'm a visual learner, so just having like the pictures and stuff that he has, it really helps me. Like when I'm taking my tests, I can just kind of picture 
in my head like what the specific topic is about and then also he also has a lot of mnemonics that'll help you remember certain stuff so like i just like for um for example which are abgs he had a good way of doing like um a good method of doing the abgs but i just always remember like he was like so uh, normal pH is 7.35 to 7.45 and then your CO2, he said um, the sevens go to heaven from the pH. So that means that CO2 is 35 to 45. And so that was just always a good way. Like he just has really good ways for you to remember stuff. So our exam on Monday is over like, um, what is this? Um, like intestinal colorectal cancer, ulcerative colitis, so like elimination stuff. So I'm going to follow up my studying with watching this video over small bowel obstructions. A small bowel obstruction is the blockage in the small intestines caused by both non-mechanical obstructions as well as mechanical, with mechanical meaning that there's something physically blocking the GI tract. He have a lot of stuff that's like... It may be corny to some, but it's actually funny to me. Like, and it'll help me rem remember. Something above the site of obstruction, causing a lot of pressure. Kind of like a fat kid getting stuck in a water slide. <laughs> like that chubby kid in the movie Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory who gets stuck in that chocolate tube. This is not good. So naturally, we hear hyperbell activity. So, like I said, it may be corny to some, but it's kind of funny to me. So... <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think I'm finna go ahead and end this vlog. I'm just probably finna study for the rest of the day. So be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Wish your girl luck on her exam on Monday. I actually feel pretty good about this exam. So yeah, I'll see y'all in the next vlog.